everybody. I'm Chef Jeffrey Gardner. I'm here with Ashley with SouthernKitchen.com. Today we're going to be making cocktails. Ashley, what are you making for us today? Thanks, Jeffrey. Today we're going to be making a shaken cocktail and a stirred cocktail. For our shaken cocktail, we're going to be making a take on the skinny margarita. And later on, I'm going to make my take on an old-fashioned. Sounds great. Now, both of the cocktails that we're making today follow a classic 2-1-1 ratio. Two strong, one sweet, and one sour. So let's make our margarita. We're gonna start with our shaker about halfway full of ice, two ounces of tequila, one ounce of our triple sec, and then we're gonna do the juice of one whole fresh squeezed lime. Get that nice citrus flavor. I like how you rolled it on the board too to loosen up some of the juices in there. That's right, make sure to get all of that juice out. It is precious. And then we're gonna add our agave. And there's really no measurement here. I like to just kind of Give it however much you want based on whether you like your drink sweet or less sweet. So I like to do just kind of one up and down motion like that. And then we're gonna shake it up. But before I do that, can you tell us a little bit about why you shake certain drinks? We shake a cocktail to incorporate air and to combine items with different densities. So for example, the tequila and the lime juice aren't gonna be of the same density. So we need to shake it, incorporate air, and chill our drink at the same time to bring them together. Cool, so I'm gonna shake this up for about six to eight seconds. Give it a good shake. All right. And then we're gonna strain this into our rocks glass. And you can serve this either straight up or on the rocks. It's really personal preference. Jeffrey, why don't you give this a try? That looks delicious. You can even see how homogenized it is from the shaking process. Oh, wow. Just enough sweetness from the agave nectar how bright and tart the lime is really comes through. Fantastic cocktail. What else you got for us? Next, we're gonna be making my take on an old fashioned called the High Noon Old Fashioned. And the reason we call it the High Noon Old Fashioned is because the simple syrup and the bitters that we're using invoke flavors of leather and cigar. It really feels like something a cowboy might drink. In my house, we call it Clint Eastwood in a cup. <laughs> we're gonna start with a half ounce of blackstrap molasses simple syrup. And next, we're gonna add our Havana and Hyde bitters. That's where we're gonna get a lot of that leather and cigar flavor. So we're gonna do two halves here. And then we're gonna add our bourbon. And today we're using 13th Colony Sour Mash Bourbon made in America's Georgia. So two ounces of that. And now we're gonna stir it up. So we're gonna do about 40, 45 rotations, which is about 45 seconds or so. A good rule of thumb, always remember, stir spirits. We have items of similar densities in here, so we don't wanna make this drink cloudy. Just stir it to chill it and combine, not incorporating a lot of air, and we're gonna have a cleaner drink to finish. So James Bond was wrong? He ruined a generation of <laughs> martini drinkers. So once we finish stirring, we're gonna to wanna to strain it out into our double old fashioned glass. And I like to serve this over a large sphere of ice or a big cube so it doesn't continue to dilute the alcohol. So lastly, like sort of piece de resistance, is our orange peel. So we're gonna express the orange peel into the drink. I'm gonna flame it to really get those oils out into the drink. Just kind of warm up the oil there a little bit. And then I like to just kind of rub around the rim there, get some of that oils in there. Then you just drop the orange peel right in. And there you have it, the high noon old fashioned. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Really good depth of flavor here. You kind of get that, that leathery, cigar-y, cowboy feel I was talking about. And then you can also really taste the expressed oil in there from the citrus, which is really nice. For more cocktail tips and tools, visit southernkitchen.com. Cheers, y'all. Cheers. Mm -hmm.